Hello everyone. This tutorial is going to show you how to screen record anything on your desktop. So for example if you have a game and you want to play it and showing on your desktop the sounds and the graphics and everything that you see you want to record that and make a video of what you're doing then this program is for you. It's also great to do web tutorials so for example if you're trying to teach somebody let's say how to use Excel or how to use Microsoft uh, let's say Microsoft uh, all kinds of office programs like Word you want to teach somebody how to do that so everything that I'm doing now is being recorded see my cursor is moving and I'm talking it's being recorded so it's perfect for web tutorials and if you you are a gamer and you want to record a, a video uh, to show how how well you're doing and how many points you're getting or, or what have you. Now there's a program that's perfect for this. It's not really that much known. It's called Cam Studio. Now I'm actually using this right now to record this web tutorial. Here it is right in front of you, Cam Studio. This is the program. Now let me show you, for example, let's say you know, I'm playing a game. So whatever Let's say I want to play one of these games, let's say chess, right? Sorry, I want to open this up. And there's your game right there, see? So this is all being recorded, so I can make a video of this and it's all going to be on record. And when it's done, it's going to become a file and you're going to be able to upload that file to YouTube or you can burn it on a DVD and make a movie out of it or just save it on your computer just like any other file like you could get from your camcorder when you take a video with your camcorder so basically that's all on video now I'm going to show you how to get this and where to get it so all you really have to do is go to Google type in cam studio and there you go it's the first result just click on the link scroll down slowly there's a whole bunch of other stuff that they have over here but this is the first one cam studio it should say cam studio 20.exe just click on that and they make it easy you don't have to go to another link it's just this box that comes up just click on save file it'll download then open the icon that you save it on your desktop and it should start running and you should be able to use it immediately so I'm just gonna exit out of this and here should be this should be the icon right here it should be like a blue icon it should say cam studio to open it all you have to do is just double click on it and it's right there so it, it's pretty easy and that's really all you have to do is the one that I'm playing right now. Now, there's a few things that you should do. It does have defaults. You may want to change a few things. So, because it's mixing two things together, that's what's great about this program. There's no audio and video that you have to do separately. It just mixes it together and it matches it up. So you just have to, you may want to check a few things and also compress it to make it the right size, to make it easier to upload. So go to Video Ops. I already have mine set as Microsoft Video 1. You can try to set it to DivX uh, codec, but it might not work. I have Vista. Vista is a problem with certain things. It doesn't detect certain types of uh, codecs. So I'm using Microsoft Video 1. Uh, the quality I'm setting is 60. The key frames every 30. Capture frames every 30 millisec every 50 milliseconds. And the playback rate should be about 20 frames per second. Uh, the max frame rate you should just leave it one frame per minute and just hit OK. So you should be good with that. Uh, like I said the reason you use a, a compressor is because you want to make the file as small as possible so it will upload you to YouTube faster and also save ultimately save room on your hard drive if you keep the file on your computer. So let's go to options again and 
if you go down you could see it should say record audio from microphone because if you want to talk on your microphone if you're doing a web tutorial it should be from your microphone now if you're doing a video game it should be from your speakers because you probably want to get the music that the game is making so it'll mix that music together with the video so there you have it a great program called a great program called cam studio it, uh, it's great for web tutorials for gamers and for anything that you want to screen record on your desktop so if you found this uh, video helpful please subscribe please leave comments below the video and thank you for tuning in